This video was made in collaboration with Narutopedia. For more information, check out the link in the description. The Life of the Ten Tails from Naruto The Ten Tails is the combined form of Kaguya Otsutsuki and the God Tree, created to reclaim their chakra inherited by her sons, Hagoromo and Hamura. It is regarded as the progenitor of chakra and is tied to the legend of the Sage of Six Paths and the birth of Shinobi. To end the beast's rampage, the sage became the ten-tailed Jinchuriki and later split its chakra into nine-tailed beasts to prevent it from causing further harm. Centuries later, its revival became the objective of Madara and Obito Uchiha, who both sought to become the beast Jinchuriki in order to further their objectives. Welcome to the Yamagi! In today's video, we're going over the life of the ten-tails. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Amagi's reach stretches beyond just this channel, so if you're a fan of us, please consider subscribing to our other channels and following us on all of our social media. Help us reach our goal of passing 100,000 followers on all of our accounts by the end of the year. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Background Long before the founding of the Hidden Villages, during an era of endless wars between mankind, the God Tree, a tree revered as a deity, bore a chakra fruit once every thousand years. It was later revealed that the Otsutsuki planted the Ten Tails seedling onto the earth with the intent to drain all chakra from the planet so it could produce a chakra fruit for them to harvest. Although it was forbidden to consume the God Tree's fruit, it was eaten by Princess Kaguya Otsutsuki, who used the power it granted her to end the wars plaguing the lands. Sometime after this, Kaguya gave birth to two sons, who became the first people born with chakra. Later, deciding that her children's chakra was rightfully hers, Kaguya combined with the god tree to become the Ten Tails herself, which ravaged the land in an ongoing battle with her children. However, because Kaguya's true motives were not realized, it was instead believed that the god tree itself had taken on the form of a monster in an attempt to regain the chakra that Kaguya had stolen. In the final confrontation between the Ten Tails and Kaguya's sons, Hagoromo and Hamura, the two managed to seal the beast into what would become the moon. Its chakra was sealed separately within Hagoromo, making him the first Jinchuriki. This act, along with many other great deeds throughout his lifetime, resulted in Hagoromo becoming revered as the Sage of Six Paths. However, knowing that his death would unleash the Ten Tails back into the world to continue its rampage and reclaim the chakra he had spread among humanity, Hagoromo separated the monster's chakra from its body and used his creation of all things technique to create the nine-tailed beasts. Unbeknownst to the brothers, Kaguya had created Black Zetsu from her will prior to her sealing in order to facilitate her revival. To this end, it spent centuries attempting to unite the chakra of Hagoromo's sons, Indra and Asura, in order to awaken the Rinnegan in one of their reincarnations. Eventually, thanks to Black Setsu's machinations, the Rinnegan would once again manifest itself in one of Indra's descendants, Madara Uchiha. With his new power, Madara summoned the empty vessel of the Ten Tails back into the world and named it the Demonic Statue of the Outer Path. Joined by Obito Uchiha, who continued his work after his death, Madara devised a means to reunite the demonic statue and the tailed beasts back to their original form so he could use the Ten Tails to enact his lifelong ambition, the Eye of the Moon Plan. Fourth Shinobi World War Climax Though only able to obtain fragments of Gyuki and Kurama's chakra, Obito fed the Benihisago and Kohaku no Johei to the demonic statue of the Outer Path, beginning its regeneration into the Ten Tails. As Madara joined the fray, Naruto and Killer B attempted to destroy the demonic statue with a massive tailed beast ball to stop the Ten Tails from being fully revived. Though the statue's chakra vanished after the attack, the supposed victory was short-lived as the Ten Tails emerged from the settling smoke, causing Obito to declare it the end of the world. With the revival complete, Obito and Madara situated themselves atop the beast's head, from which two tendrils manifested and connected to the two Uchiha's necks. Not wanting to waste any time, Obito noted that he wished to cast the infinite Tsukiyomi immediately, while Madara wanted to test the beast's power first. After being attacked by the beast, Kurama and Gyuki launched a barrage of simultaneous tailed beast balls at it only for the Ten Tails to counter using one of its own. After the dust cleared, Naruto's Shadow Clone and Kakashi Harake were launched above the Ten Tails, where Kakashi released Gyuki, who then fired a point blank range tailed beast ball at the Ten Tails' eye, only for it to flick the ball back at its creator with a single finger. The two Uchiha then attempted to decimate their opponents with a tailed beast ball, but missed as a result of Obito momentarily losing control. With the battlefield now shrouded in mist and all sensory skills being jammed, the remainder of the allied forces arrived to assist in the battle. The alliance launched a barrage of techniques in order to incapacitate the Ten Tails in an attempt to attack Madara and Obito, but failed as the Ten Tails entered its second form and broke free of its bindings. 
The Uchiha then proceeded to devastate several towns as well as the Allied forces headquarters with a series of tailed beast balls. After the Uchiha strengthened their control using Hashirama's cells, Obito used the Tentail's body as a medium for the wood release cutting technique, with Neji Hyuga among those fatally wounded as a result, before the beast was restrained by Kitsuchi's earth release sandwich technique. Ignoring Madara's warnings, Obito once again attempted to annihilate the allied forces with a tailed beast ball at close range, but before he could fire, Killer B forced the attack down the Tentail's throat using his own tailed beast ball, causing the beast to collapse. After Naruto distributed his and Kurama's combined chakra to the allied forces, the Ten Tails was quickly overwhelmed and restrained by the Nara clan. With the assistance of Madara's power, the Ten Tails was able to resist and attempted to assault the shinobi with its tails, but the shinobi pressed forward undeterred and severed two of the beast's tails with Naruto's Rasen Shuriken, separating Madara and Obito from its head with their subsequent attack. Now attacking on its own accord and maturing even further, the Ten Tails unleashed its Tenpenshi and decimated its surroundings. As the technique's effects dissipated, the Tentails sensed the presence of seven-tailed beasts within Naruto, and was reminded of the Sage of Six Paths, which prompted it to gather more chakra, increasing its form once more. It opened its mouth wide, producing a flower-like structure to create a gigantic tailed beast ball, which easily smashed through the allied forces' earth release barriers, but was warped away by Minato Namikaze upon his arrival to the battlefield. After the reincarnated Hokage had properly positioned themselves, they trapped the Tentails within a large barrier topped with Hashirama's own restraints to further immobilize its movements. The Tentails, aware that its capture was imminent, produced miniature clones to defend its main body. With the help of their respective summons, Naruto and the newly arrived Sasuke Uchiha got past the Tentails' clones, and by combining their Wind Release Ultra Big Ball Rasen Shuriken and Blaze Release Susano Kagutsuchi, unleash the Scorch release Halo Hurricane Jet Black Arrow Style Zero, which dealt a direct hit to the Tentails. While Naruto and Sasuke argued about whether to remove the tailed beasts inside the Tentails or simply let it burn, the beast separated the burning flesh from its body. Obito then emerged from another dimension, heavily wounded, and landed on the beast's head, prompting Madara to attempt to control him in an effort to properly resurrect himself so that he could become the beast's Jinchuriki. Obito resisted this control and used the opportunity to seal himself within the beast, becoming the Tentails' second Jinchuriki. Birth of the Tentails Jinchuriki Once inside Obito's body, the Tentails caused Obito to suffer a psychological breakdown and lose control over his own body, before ultimately gaining control over the beast's power and undergoing a second transformation. Later deciding to press on with his plan, Obito expelled the Tentails from his body while remaining its Jinchuriki and caused it to transform into a gigantic tree for the purpose of casting the infinite Tsukiyomi. Once in this form, the tree's roots began absorbing chakra from the allied forces, reducing the time that the bud containing its eye would take to bloom. As Obito continued to dominate the battle, Waiting for the blooming of the tree's bud to be completed, the Senjutsu-enhanced teamwork of Naruto and Sasuke was able to land a critical hit on Obito. This allowed Naruto, Gara, and Killer B to latch onto the tailed beast chakra within him using their own, and with the combined efforts of the entire allied forces, the tailed beasts were freed from Obito, halting the tree's development. Later, after Madara once again sealed the nine-tailed beasts within the demonic statue, the ten tails revived once again. Shortly thereafter, Madara summoned the beast and sealed it within himself, making him its newest Jinchuriki. When Naruto used Sage Art Lava Release Rasen Shuriken to cut the tree left behind by Obito in half, Madara was told to absorb the falling tree, interpreting the voice in his head as the god tree's desire to unite everything into one being. Kaguya Otsutsuki Strikes once Madara had completed the Eye of the Moon plan, he was promptly betrayed by Black Zetsu, who proceeded to use Madara as a medium to absorb enormous amounts of chakra from the victims of the Infinite Tsukiyomi, thereby completing the revival of Kaguya. During Team Kakashi's subsequent battle with Kaguya, Naruto was able to hit her with nine Rasen Shuriken, each containing the chakra of one tailed beast. Resonating with said chakra, the tailed beast chakra within Kaguya's body grew unstable, causing her to unwillingly transform into a rabbit like incarnation of the Ten Tails. However, as she was within her core dimension, Kaguya was able to continue siphoning chakra out of the infinite Tsukiyomi's victims, and quickly returned to her original form. At the battle's conclusion, Kaguya was sealed once more by the combined efforts of Naruto and Sasuke, causing her to transform back into the Ten Tails and ultimately the demonic statue as the Tailed Beast and Madara were expelled from her body. Versus Momoshiki Arc Fifteen years later, Momoshiki Otsutsuki acquired a portion of Gyuki's chakra, which he used to recreate the god tree in another world. Shortly after its manifestation, it was destroyed by Momoshiki and Kinshiki Otsutsuki during their fight against the Five Kage. Did you enjoy our video? 
Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.